Hey guys, it's Sanem and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a voiceover kind of video and it is my four glam makeup and hair for basically what I like to do on glam days or when I'm going all out. This is what I would do typically for my makeup and also for my hair. I do use a curling iron and that is how I usually style my hair. So we're just going to jump right into it. I do start off with a moisturizer and I'm using the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour moisturizer and this just gives my skin hydration and also preps my skin for the makeup. For brows, I like to lightly tint them because I do have very dark brows already. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel in Dark Brown. And like I said, I pretty much just go all over my brows and give them a good coat, run it through, and then it will just give my um, brows a nice little color. Next, we're going in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is essential. This is so key when you want your makeup to last long, especially if you're doing a full coverage foundation and a full glam look. You want it to last all day. And this one is a really nice gripping primer. It's very tacky, but it's hydrating at the same time. Next, I'm prepping my eyes with the P. Louise Base, and this is in number two, Rumor. So I am going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, which I have not used in such a long time. So I'm first going in with the shade Raw Sienna, and I'm just blending that in my crease uh, as my transition shade. I'm now taking Burn Orange and I'm basically just applying that on the outer V and slightly bringing it into the crease as well and this is going to start adding a lot more warmth to the eye look. Typically when I do a glam look I love to go for a neutral eye anyway but you guys will see what I like to do with my lid colour. So for my lid I love something super shimmery or glittery so I am going in with Primavera and mixing it with Vermeer and I'm mixing the two, one is a pink one is a gold and it just creates a beautiful neutral shimmery tone on the eyes and I did drag it a little bit higher almost to kind of make it look like a cut crease and this just makes me look like I have a lot of eyelid space even though I don't have a lot of lid space. That's always a trick to go higher with your eyeshadow and it just gives the illusion that you have a bigger lid space. Now I'm taking Cypress Umber and this is a nice matte dark brown and I'm just applying that very lightly on the lash line and I'm not blending it out because I'm going to blend it out with something else later but this is just to lay down my first colour. So as you saw I did go back in with Burn Orange and I'm basically dragging that along the lash line on top of Cypress Umber and I'm mixing the two together and I'm using a little pencil brush and this is basically just blending everything so it looks very soft. When I'm doing a full glam I love going for a soft glam i never go super harsh or anything like that so i'm just blending everything to make it look very um, effortless now this is the star of the show i've mentioned this before it's my favorite product ever this is the ultra lustrous foil eyeshadow and it is just the most beautiful chunky glittery formula it is very chunky so you have to really press it onto the lid um, otherwise you will get a lot of fallout and chunkiness it is like a flaky glitter product so just be careful with it so i'm just basically applying this straight on top of the lid and you can see it just you can see the difference it just adds um, a nice little spark or a nice little touch
So I'm going into my Power Liner by Lily Lashes. This is an eyeliner and lash glue in one. So I'm not going to use lash glue. I'm just going to use this eyeliner. And I'm also going with the Pound Lashes lashes in PL024. And you guys will see I did mess up with the liner. But there's nothing I can do about it. It got a little bit thicker than how I normally like it. Going in with mascara, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex, and I'm just going to be applying that. So now for foundation, I am going into a medium to full coverage foundation. This is the XX Revolution Glow Skin Foundation. Mine is in the shade FX 2.5. I love this stuff, um, so I'm basically just applying this all over my skin, of course, and just buffing it in with my favorite foundation brush. This is the Morphe E7, and yeah, it's just a flat synthetic buffer brush, and it really just buffs flawlessly into the skin. Like, I have no streaks um, or anything like that when I use this brush, and as you can see, it just goes on really smoothly. This foundation isn't too matte, but isn't too shiny either. So it's just the perfect in between. It's the perfect kind of go to for coverage um, foundation when you want a glam look. Concealer, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape and I'm using it in the shade Light Sand. I'm going to go into my holy grail which is the mac prep and prime light boost highlighting pen and i'm just going to be further concealing highlighting with this as well To set my under eye, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Fair and I'm just going to basically set my under eyes with this. Now I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, this is the transparent one and this is also a Morphe brush, I will have which one it is on the screen. It is a very big fluffy brush and I'm basically just applying this all over my skin to set that foundation. Especially when you're doing a glam look, you want that foundation to not go anywhere. And also this powder does give you more of a smooth finish, your skin is going to look even more flawless, even more smooth as you can see. Um, it just makes everything come together and it binds the foundation and the makeup. For my bronzer, this one is very dark for me. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in cappuccino, but uh, I do need to use it up. So I'm just going to be using that one today. So I'm going to contour my nose, which I don't always do, but again, I do it on days when I want to go a little bit fuller with my makeup. So in the Anastasia palette, I took Warm Taupe, and I'm basically just blending this straight down onto my nose, making it narrow and going under the nose as well to basically give the illusion that I have a shorter tip and it looks a little more lifted. And then I just go in with my beauty blender to basically blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. For my blusher, I'm going in with Makeup Revolutions Blusher in Rose Kiss. This is a gorgeous, like medium toned, purpley pink blush. It is more on the pink side, it's not too purpley.
For highlighter, I'm going in with this one, which is a little more subtle. And this is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Mean Money and Hustler Baby. It's like a peachy gold, which just fits perfectly with the lip color later and with the eyes as well. So this is like the perfect highlighter for this look. And so I'm just applying that in the usual spots. Cheekbones, nose and forehead and upper lip and chin. I'm taking a little bit more of Vermeer and applying that to the inner corner. And I did notice as well, like my lash did have a little bit of, I think, eyeshadow left over on it. But yeah, we can just ignore that. I'm using a small brush for my lower lash line and I'm going in with Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange, mixing the two and applying that to my lower lash line just to create a little bit of a balance from what we did on the top. This is Max Flesh Pot. It is a satin lipstick. It's my favorite lipstick in the entire world. And that is what I am using. So I'm using this gloss, but I'm so sorry. This shade in particular is discontinued. Um, this is the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in Angel. They still make these lip glosses, but they just don't have the Angel shade anymore, which is such a shame because it is my favorite as well. It is such a pretty lip gloss and it's non-sticky. I absolutely love it. And I'm just going to finish off the makeup look, of course, with some setting spray and just to refresh the makeup to bind everything together. I'm using the MAC Fix Plus in the Cherry Blossom scent. This is from this year. I think they might still have it available, so definitely get your hands on it. So now we are moving on to my hair. I am using a new curling iron today. This is the Jinri curling iron. You can find it on Amazon and they did kindly send this to me as well. This video is not sponsored, but I did want to include it in today's video and test it out. So you guys don't have to. And yeah, I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it. Now, typically when I do a full on glam look and I'm just getting all dressed up, I will always curl my hair. So as you guys know, I do have naturally curly hair, naturally wavy hair, and I used to curl it every single day, but I realized it was damaging my curls and making my hair even more dry. So I stopped doing that, and now I only curl my hair on special occasions. So this is a 25 millimeter barrel, which is great because it's gonna not give you super tight curls, but it's not gonna give you super wavy curls either. It's just the perfect in between. And it is a 360 curler as well. So it basically rotates all the way around and i absolutely love that so here i'm just testing it out and i do have to put in a little mention of my hair so i do have very frizzy curly hair and dry hair it's just how my hair is so you guys can see when i am curling it um it is very frizzy and that's just due to my hair naturally but i do go in with an oil afterwards typically always when i curl i do go in with an oil just to control the frizz and to make my hair shiny now when i was using this for the first time i was struggling a little bit because i didn't know how it worked but then i kind of got there in the end and either way even if I didn't use it perfectly, I did love the way my curls came out and I definitely will be using it a lot more. Um, and plus it's super cute. It's baby pink and white. But I'm just going to let you guys enjoy it. And like I said, I didn't do it perfectly. But you know what? You, you guys will see at the end. I think it really came out nicely anyway. And it just created bouncy soft curls. So highly recommend it. I did like it. I just need more practice with it. And they do actually have 40% off right now. Which who doesn't want to save money? So I will have a link down below. You guys can check out as well. I'm going in with the Aussie Work That Curl Serum and this is just one of the best kind of oils that I've used. It is a serum but I mean it comes out basically like an oil and I just applied this through my hair, through the curls. It just makes them super soft and shiny, makes it look super bouncy and it also controls the frizz at the top as well. 
、um, and throughout my hair. So I love applying this straight after I've used any heat on my hair, or if my hair is just looking dry and frizzy, then I would I usually go in with this kind of product. So this is the completed look. Please let me know what you guys think. So if you guys did enjoy this video, and also if you do like voiceover videos and find them relaxing, let me know, and I'll definitely film more as well. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will speak to you guys all in my next video.